Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. What we're going to talk about today is a follow on to a previous video where uh, my assistant, Aiden, and I uh, constructed a three band fan antenna in a uh, inverted V configuration. Uh, we made it out of insulated wire and I wrapped the wire back on itself uh, at various points as we did the tuning to lengthen and shorten the wire. And this generated a uh, query from Lou, uh, WZ3J, who um, said that he had a hard time with this idea of an insulated wire folded back on itself, which would make it shorter. Um, you don't have a direct connection between the wires there. On a, a bare copper wire, you can understand that because it's shorting itself out. But insulated wire, what's going on there? How does it work? And I thought, you know, I don't really know the answer to that question. So what I'm going to do is an experiment. I'm going to take, I'm going to make a dipole, two dipoles. These dipoles are going to be uh, for 40 meters. We're going to put them up in a sloper configuration. We're going to uh, measure the difference. Uh, till we, till we're going to tune both and see uh, what the various lengths are uh, for the things tuning. And then we're going to take the part on the insulated wire that was wrapped back by about this much and chop it off and see what that does to the SWR. The results will surprise you. Let's take a look at the charts. So the questions that we're answering here is um, when tuning a dipole, is it okay to wrap any extra wire back on itself? And what about if it's insulated wire? Will that work? What we're gonna do is compare three 40 meter slopers, one made of bare copper with about two feet folded back on the ends, a 40 meter dipole made of insulated wire, about two foot folded back on the ends, give or take. And then we're gonna take a 40 meter dipole that's identical in length. In fact, it's the identical antenna. Uh, identical in length to the one above, uh, but only an inch or two wrapped back just to hold the insulator in place. We ought to talk about what a sloper is. This is a sloper. It's a dipole set kind of sideways. This usually is a wooden mast or something. We actually stretched it out more this way. And uh, it's the idea is to pull the feet off uh, at the proper angle, and it tends to direct radiation in this direction. Now here are the two antennas, you can see them here. One is made of copper wire, and the other is made of insulated wire. Now there's a touch of difference between the two. Uh, this is stranded wire and this is solid wire, but uh, otherwise they're the same size and should behave the same way. You see right here, I've soldered in the SO239 connectors. So as it turns out, the insulated wire end up being a little bit shorter for 40 meters because of the insulation. The insulation acts as a dielectric and it causes the radio wave propagation to slow down slightly in the antenna by a percent or so. So this is the copper one wrapped back on itself. This uh, insulated one is too. I want to throw in an advertisement how to reach me. Email askdave at arrl.org, U.S. Postal Service, or if you're a patron, just message me on Patreon. So this is taking a look at the center of the dipole. Right here, we have uh, the wire going out each side. Uh, this is up by the top of the 30-foot mast. This is a few feet of rope to kind of insulate what's happening with the dipole to the metal mast here. You could see where the wire is wrapped around right here. It kind of comes down just a little bit. This is the ground end where we've got a piece of rope to a tree. And you can see this is the insulated wire here. And it has a fair amount wrapped back on itself. Just to give you a little better view of that, this is the part that is wrapped back 
on itself. All right, let's do some testing. Here's the bare copper sloper 40 meter dipole. Uh, and this is measuring from 6.5 to 7.6. And this is the bare copper sloper with wire twisted back on itself, which of course shorts it. And that makes it real easy to see what the length is. Uh, the good point there is it's about 7.116. Uh, 7 Okay, and the next one is an insulated sloper with the wrap back. And oh my goodness, these two pictures sure look a lot alike. Okay, so yes, the insulated sloper was slightly shorter because of the velocity factor in that insulated wire. But they make nearly identical antennas. One more little advertisement how to support this channel, Patreon. The tip jar, super thanks on YouTube comments. You can also uh, add a little during the live stream on Thursday evening at 6.45 local time, U.S. Mountain Time. You should be able to find that on my channel. And if you want, you can subscribe at dcastler.com support for a monthly $2 or $5 or whatever you want. Okay, let's look at what we did with the antenna. Here, this is the wire, um, the insulated wire antenna. It's the same band right there, and we just wrapped it around real tight a couple times and cut it off. So this is the insulated one that used to appear like this. This is the insulated sloper with an insulated wrap back. Now let's just go down and see what it looks like. And, huh. The SWR point hardly moves. So that folded back insulated wire isn't making any difference. Now you say, why does that look thinner than this? Because this one was 6.5 to 7.5 and this was 6 to 8. But otherwise they're the same. All of the dipoles or all of the incarnations of the dipole are under 2 to 1 across the entire band. So our results for the house wire antennas, these are made with just uh, normal house wire like you'd get from Home Depot. The insulated is THHN, the bare is just copper, I mean, soft copper, okay? So resonant insulated wire antennas are a touch shorter than bare copper wire antennas. It's okay to make the antennas a little long and then wrap the excess wire back to bring into tune. It's also okay to wrap back insulated wire when tuning, and it behaves as though it's not insulated. Okay, so you can wrap back insulated wire too without things going haywire. Uh, down at the bottom, I do have a new completely unrelated channel. So there you have it. We took a look at uh, an interesting question. Uh, bare copper antenna versus an insulated one. The insulated one ends up being a little shorter simply because the velocity factor in wire is slightly slower than that in copper wire. Also, we showed that if you take an insulated wire and wrap the excess back on itself, it acts the same as if you cut that excess off. In other words, it's a good place to put the excess. It doesn't create any kind of weird impedances or stuff like that. It just works. Now, this is for HF antennas I'm talking about here, 160 through 10. All right, so there you have it. Then go out and make your own. Uh, antennas are very, very easy to make, and it is very often the only part of a station that a ham can make. So until we next meet, 73.